there, this is Rom coming back at you with yet another car video. Yeah, the power of having confidence and swag. Yeah, the power of having it. I'm gonna tell a story. <laughs> now I was talking um I was talking with my co-parent slash ex-wife last night. We still real cool. We still real cool and stuff, you know. But anyway, we were talking, and was it last night? No, the night before. I don't know. Past couple of days. How about that? We were talking about this guy she had told me about who was like the father of one of her best friends. Now, this dude got women like crazy. This dude in his 70s and still got at least, he got six kids and at least two at least two under the age of five. Two and a maybe. I ain't even gonna get into all of that. <laughs> but, dude, she was telling me about dude, dude five two. And I ain't mentioned him before. Dude five two, getting his out here. She's been telling me about him for years. Shoot. she had been telling me about him for years. Five two. Getting here, so I was asking some specific questions. Okay, okay, he fired too. That's like, all right, take out the height thing. All right, I said, was he at least handsome? And she was like, well, nah, he was average looking. Right, <laughs> he was average looking to her. Right, so you know, five two. First of all, you know, face. Now body game. She said he did remain fit. That's why I always say, you know, at the very least, least look fit. Right, any short statue gotta be fit. Right, but you know, he was. Uh, she was telling me about him, but she said what it was was his confidence in his swag. She said that shit was like he had some serious confidence and swag to him. And I thought about that because you know you got guys out here thinking, oh, it's just face and height. And look, I'm gonna bring. Look, let me. You know what? It's funny. Um, one of my commenters, and shout yourself out in the comments, because I, I don't remember your name right now, but it said, yeah, Ron got that. Since the stroke got that, uh, I don't give a fuck attitude. <laughs> I don't. So let me talk about that. You know, confidence and swag, that's an old school game that was developed in the black community, in the American black community. And probably got it any place in the world where there are black men, but you know, it's not dominated, a society not dominated by black men. I always say they have confidence and swag, because first of all, even using the word fine, saying a dude look fine, let's be real. In the black community, what fine meant, even though there's some stuff for chocolate brothers now, what fine meant was like looking closer to white finer features. That's what it meant. So how did men who didn't have those fine features might not have had that height. Might not have had that height. Shoot, might have been stocky. If they West African stock or descended from West Africa, probably stockier. You know. And they're definitely, definitely, even now, even, even now, facially ain't considered like fine. Shit, even he just ever said that shit. But what is it that they had? They developed confidence and swag. They just lived with what they had to live. They had to come with something extra because let's just be real. In this country, even to this day, black skin, shit. That's not, uh, let's be real, on the whole. And they ain't talking about, I'm saying on the whole, I ain't talking about some, you know, sisters who like, you know, chocolate or usually light-skinned sisters at that who like chocolate and you know, some uh, white women or women of other races looking for that BBC. We not, you know, we not up there. But, but, if you go around in any black community, you got men who might not have those facial features or those fine features. Or you, you know, men who might not be over like six, six feet because even when you get some of these commenters talking about tyrone they really mean some guy who look like a black guy you know don't look nothing like him <laughs> but be having multiple babies 
and the dudes will be either short statured or have some weight on them. You know, definitely don't be like that whole lean, like 8% body fat bullshit. You know, that that's, please. Because even uh, even when I was uh, first had the stroke, you remember I came back, I was real slim. Had some guys saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, they were probably mostly white guys or something, or Orioles saying that shit. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Saying that shit. Sisters, though, <laughs> who knew me, they were like, well, you gotta put on some weight. <laughs> it's always been different that way. But even with that, it's still not the pure physical thing. It's that confidence and swag. And yeah, I say it's developed in the black community because even white guys who like, or Asian guys or Hispanic guys who hang out in those areas and stuff, they develop that swag themselves. <laughs> Should you look at some of those white guys that people with deriv derivatives, that's my word to trip over. They are called, um, they're called wiggers or something. <laughs> they usually got that swag, though. And I'm going to tell you what, man. That shit's powerful. Because I'm going to tell you what. Yeah, I'm still always going to promote body game. But see, that's the foundation. Okay, like, because even that uh, short statue guy I mentioned, he at least was fit. That way, first of all, what he did was confidence is just living with what you got, working with what you got. That's all it is. That's all it is. Like, you're only going to change your face so much. Now, you get some people getting into some plastic surgery and shit, but even then, you can only change it so much. Even plastic surgeons, professionals will say, yeah, you might take three years off your life, or your look or something, but you ain't going to change too much. So, you know, having confidence is just saying, okay, let me work with what I got. Like, that dude 5'2", he just worked with what he had. That dude knew he wasn't going to get any taller. He wasn't going to change this. You can change your hair, but your bone structure, your face, even when you work out, is only going to change so much. Shit, for some, it's not going to look healthy. Because let's be real. Even when I was, yeah, you know, I had that slimmer look. Ain't no way I looked healthy. Anybody say that shit's on some cap or stupid as shit. Ain't no way I looked healthy. Okay, okay. Well, turn, motherfucking shit. Don't do it slow. Do it fast, motherfucker. Where you going? So this person should have used their turn signal. <laughs> Bamas. Anyway. Anyway, that confidence, you just got to have the confidence. You know, whatever you got, you can only work with it. Now, you can, like, change your body somewhat. Even that, even, even your body, you can only change it somewhat. Like, if you're a naturally slim person, you ain't gonna be no big brawling dude. And if you're naturally big, more endomorphic, you ain't gonna be no ectomorphic, super slim dude. You just gotta live with it. In fact, many big men, big men, they could with it. You know? But they'll have that swag. What's the swag? One is the attitude, just the confidence. Like, confidence is not cliche. And people say some corny shit have, like, well, how do I get confident? Well, do you believe in yourself? Because that's one lesson that, you know, guys should learn. Should go, should go, in, the, uh, go in the hoods or something, poor areas, talk to those guys. How these guys, they, not, they don't have the face. They don't have the uh, height. You know, they ain't over six feet, yet they're getting pussy. Like, you get a lot of people in the black community talk about Pookie and Ray Ray. What's the one thing? If they're going to get some, what they got? They got swag. And all swag is, look, all it is, okay, first of all, believe in yourself. That's all confidence is. You're just going to accept it. You're going to accept that you're going to be whatever height. Your face going to look a certain way. You can still, but, but you can still have style to it. Remember the other week I said, like, style is, let me see something. Okay, we're still cool. I gotta check my uh, phone, make sure I ain't getting hurt. But anyway, all style is is you know you you know you can swag, you can have your own style. You know you can still control a lot of that shit. First of all, fix up what you can. You know, don't worry about okay. You can't fix up your face. You, know, you can only do so much with your face, even with working out. And some, and let's just be real. A lot of people's faces don't change with working out. 
all right but what else do you have what else can you work on you can still believe in yourself that's first and foremost whatever you got that's what God gave you know it cracks me up you get some people call themselves religious but they think God made a mistake I didn't make a mistake whatever you are that's what you are that's what you are so if you five two that's what you are if you six feet that's what you are whatever all right and yeah height is an advantage on a physical level but you still got to believe in yourself there's some people over six feet they don't have self-confidence they don't have any confidence that's why they lose out or they lanky they whack some so that's one thing having the confidence but then the swag is you can put you can build swag you can learn to walk a certain way you can learn to walk with some confidence with your head up, with your posture and everything. You can do that regardless of who you are. You know, and you can, you're grooming your style. You can wear clothes, they shoot. That's an image consultant right there. They'll tell you. Because I've known plenty of plenty of dudes and stuff. Probably wouldn't be considered no fashion model or something, but they can dress up like a motherfucker. They can get dressed like a motherfucker. You know? And then, you know, hook up their clothes, hook up their style, their shoes. And trust me, women looking at that shit, that's really what they count when they looking. They ain't just looking at your just physical thing. Even with body game. Even e even with body game, you still got to still put on the right clothes. I said, because your clothes fit better when you're in better shape. How your clothes look on you. You know, and how you walking and stuff. All of that stuff is some stuff. And like I said, I don't have any problem saying it. If somebody get mad, they just get mad. I'm just telling the truth. This shit started in the black community because we couldn't, hey, we couldn't get by on, most of us couldn't get by on just looks. There's some who can and they get some attention. But if you're talking about real game, real guys, if you take an honest look at the guys out here who really get into play, they don't, they don't got that fashion model look particularly if they're in the black community. They don't got that look. One of the biggest players I knew. I mean, I ain't gonna lie, that dude looked like Elmer Fudd. That dude had jowls, he ain't had that square jaw. But the women were talking about his ass. The women were talking about it. Only thing that dude had was some height, and even then, he wasn't slim. He, he was more, he was, he, he was more on the bulky side. He couldn't get rid of women. He couldn't get rid of it. Now, of course, somebody here that said, well, it's just the height. No, you did you know the women, motherfucker? Because like I said, the women were talking about the motherfucker. The women. They were saying something. He ain't never once say he was getting a bunch of women. He ain't never once say to me he was getting a bunch of women. Me and him would talk. We'd be talking business. Never once. It'd be the women saying, he fucking this woman, this woman, this woman. I remember a woman was going to fight. Shoot. A woman was fighting his wife. The dude was married, too. The dude, this woman was ready to fight his wife. People had to pull them apart. She was trying to give him something so bad. Shit. But he did have some swagger, you know? Because, yeah, you could tell he lifted, but he wasn't, like, super cut or super lean or anything. But one thing, he dressed like a motherfucker. And he was a cool motherfucker. And his father was the same way, too. In the social circle, I knew this motherfucker. His father was the same way. Come in there, you know, had his shades on and shit. You know? Because all swag is really just fixing up what you do have. Working with what you got. And that, that shit's powerful than a motherfucker. Because you get some motherfuckers, they don't look like nothing. Like these so-called, they you got these uh, content creators trying to say, oh no, you got to have face and height. I'm talking about some dudes they don't know. Meanwhile, you got some dudes in the community. And even though I said, yeah, it was uh, with some black dudes and black men and shit, there were some white men who had that swag. Dude, this Jewish dude had some swag getting some women. This other dude, a big man, too. He said, that's the only thing I could get. But he had some, he was cool. He had some swag to him. You know? That's some powerful stuff. Like this big white dude I knew. Like I said, that dude even said, he said, that's all I could do. That's the only thing I'm good at, getting women. He's cracking. I was like, yeah, man, you should be doing some videos or something. Trust me, you can make some money. But that dude was... 
that dude was getting like, I would say, he was getting some fine women. A big dude. He was a big man, too. But you know what? He was comfortable with it, and he had some swag. That's all that is. It's like your style, how you present yourself, and even in the confidence, how you talk to women. I'm going to tell you what. A lot of guys have a real issue with women because they're afraid to talk to them. Like, they don't bite unless you want them to. <laughs> Shit. And even if one say, like, reject you, like, you say hi and one reject you, don't, don't even uh, lose sleep over that shit. Rejection a part of life. She's saving you some time. Let me shout out the, uh, the plumber, the plumber uh, brother from that Dayton Pop show. Say, look at them and say, baby, you ain't qualified. <laughs> like, shit. <laughs> Whatever you want to say about him. That dude got rejected harshly and he just let him know but kept moving on. Shit, that's a part of life. That's part of swag too. You ain't even pressed about it. Then the woman be she I'm gonna tell you what, women, you if you act like if you like this with some rejection or something, it's like, okay, you have a nice day. You know, you have a nice day, queen. You hit them with that shit. <laughs> they don't think about that shit. Oh, and shit, even though well, even on that show, it was a couple women I guarantee called his ass up. At least one of them was all up in his comments. And everything. So, I mean, that's all it is. Dress well. And first, well, first believe in yourself. That's the first thing. First believe in yourself. You are what you are. Don't worry about what some men say on here. You know, you got some men saying, well, you got you to gotta be this, you got to be that. Oh, those are two motherfuckers I saw running yesterday. Hey, girls. God damn. But anyway, don't worry about, you know, don't worry about some guy say, well, it's just a face. Those motherfuckers ain't getting no pussy because, shit, you deal with some real life motherfuckers. God damn, she fat in the motherfucker. God damn, sure. Okay. Anyway, you get uh, you get some uh, men trying to tell you that shit. Shit, is it the women? And don't use two or three, cause I say, cause what I know about game and who getting pussy, I don't, I don't even go by what's online. I see what's out there. That's why I tell people get out there. And I know too many motherfuckers would never be considered some fashion. I know too many, too many. I can't even give them a count. They macking like crazy, yet they going against what people are saying online. Shoot. I knew this one motherfucker. That dude. Anyway, I knew this dude. That dude, first of all, that dude didn't even that dude didn't even dress well, but he was he, man, his confidence was off the chain. He didn't even dress well. Hell if you just have good confidence. I knew this dude, this dude had kids by two different women. Look, I'm gonna tell you something out here now. Fuck all the bullshit. If you get some women want to reproduce your ass, you doing something. You doing something. And that dude wasn't over no six feet. He had a bitch shit. He had a fat face. He had a fat face, wasn't over six feet. He had two kids. Still going for another one. It was at a place I worked. She had to say, Rom, you need to say something to him. He was trying to go for this lesbian. And he was like, I never forget what he said, too. He was like, oh, yeah, she, she might be down for some dick. He's going for a couple women. In fact, I knew this dude on his uh, job. I've mentioned him before. This dude, like, his nickname was Shrek. His nickname was Shrek. That motherfucker didn't give a fuck. He was a white boy, too. Motherfucker named Shrek. But he had some, he had some swag, though, man. That dude walk in with some... Burberry, uh, uh, what is it, Burberry, Burberry shirts, <laughs> I can't even think of the name, but that dude came in, he always came in stylish, he always came in stylish, had his shades, made sure his hair was right, still looked like Shrek, but that motherfucker was an ugly, sexy player, he wasn't cut either, he wasn't cut either, and that dude, pff, I couldn't keep up with the women that dude was getting, was getting. Cause he had confidence though. That dude, that, that dude. In fact, he had found out by my book. He had wanted to write some stuff. He had started some notes on some stuff. 
lost contact with him and stuff. If I ever catch up with him, run into him or something, I'm going um, to say, hey, dude, you need to do some videos or come on a video with me. But they, yeah, they called that dude Shrek. He was getting something. But he had confidence. He had swag. So that's the thing, though. Because let's be real, we get a lot of people out here trying to talk about, well, there's only that 1% getting the women and all of that. Bullshit. Bullshit. Because, shoot, at the gym, I had mentioned this woman uh, the, yesterday, real fine, like, body right where I like it, but she being there with her husband and kids. Her husband, he ain't no, he, he look, you, if you if you shorter than me, you ain't over six feet. This is just that, this is just that simple. You ain't over six feet. This dude went over six feet, getting some. But he was in decent shape, though. Because it's something you can't control. And that's the thing, though. And, you know, the confidence thing, you know, too many men get caught up in their physicality why they can't be confident. Because even body game, the ultimate, all, even though I've talked about, like, how it'll drive women crazy, all that, having a certain body type, having some muscles on you and all of that. Ultimately, and I've said this, I said this on Rhyme TV, I did a series on the body game philosophy. It's really just about being comfortable with yourself. That's all it is. That's all it is, just being comfortable. Once you know you can lift a certain amount of weight or you, you look in the way that you control how you look, you're comfortable. And that's, that's, that's the important thing. That's all you got to worry about. If you're comfortable with yourself, that's confident. And shit, talk to some women out here. They seem many a motherfucker. They'll be like, yeah, he ain't my type, but something about him. They'll say that. But then, you know, women got multiple types and stuff. We've talked about that before. But whatever the case, you can't worry about it. You can't even, and don't worry about what one or two women say. Even going out, like I talked today on my sit-down uh, couch video about, you know, finding, you know, the right woman for you is about really about finding what you like to do and then finding her along there, you know? But also, too, it's about which women like what you got. Women, there's women who like dudes who are slim, women who like dudes who are, like, athletic. You got a lot of women like a big man, you know? Some women, you know, it, it, even though in general women, in general, women like taller men, you got some, I've met some women say they'll go for a shorter guy. And they broke it down to me. They say they'll go for a shorter guy because they feel like he'll, he'll work harder. Because despite being short, if he do his thing. And that's, shoot, that's part of that swag too, having that swag. You just saying, fuck it, I'm going to just do my thing. You know? And that's that's the key. That that is the key. Now, of course, some guys they ain't gonna want to listen. They don't need to listen. But you listen on this channel, cause I don't give a fuck. I'm just telling the truth. You gotta believe in yourself. That's part of. That's the main thing with body game. Cause I don't care who you are. Some women ain't gonna like your body. Okay. Some women say some women ain't gonna like your body. I don't care who you are. I don't care what your body fat percentage is. So you can't really worry about that. What you can worry about, though, and what you can't control, you can control You can control your haircut. You can control how you hold your head. You can control your posture. You can hit the gym. You can control how you bless. Don't worry about your, your face and height. Every, some guy's holding it, but that's just telling me yeah, they some ugly motherfuckers ain't getting no pussy. They don't know about how to have some swag. Like I said... In the black community, you know, I gotta be raw with it. In the black community, we had to. Cause that shit was shit. We had we had to go past whatever our skin color. We had to. Ain't no ifs, ands, and buts. And that's what some dudes see. And even now, some dudes, we, that's what we're promoting. That other shit, you can't control that. Promote what you can control. You know? So anyway, let me get in here. I gotta get some vittles. Y'all know me. Anyway, I talk to y'all. Y'all have a good day, all right? Peace.